What's going on guys? My name is Alex and guys, first of all, I do want to do a quick shout out to Casual Savage for letting me upload on his channel. He uploaded also to my channel, so make sure to check out the description. You can find all the info there. So make sure to smash the like button down below already. And I would say, let's go. All right guys, so as you guys can see, we are in Sony Vegas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this part like PewDiePie would do. So what, I, what PewDiePie always does is using jump cuts. Also you know, like using some filters and some black and white here and there. What I'm going to do is reverse to going to start editing this clip so let's do that what's up guys my name is alex and welcome back to a brand new sort of vegas tutorial it's wednesday and in this video guys i'm going to show you guys how to edit videos like pewdiepie okay so i, I received like a lot of comments like on the case to nice that video i would say like but what we're going to do first is when we're adding a little brightness and contrast to it so i'm going to go to video effects brightness and contrast and i'm going to uh Put a little bit more contrast to it. I would say that looks awesome. So as you guys can see, this is the difference, and it's a it's a pretty big difference as you guys can see. Uh, so that's really so now that we're set on that part. I would say let's move on with the video. Uh, on the Roman and with the vlogs, uh, like Sony Vegas video, how to edit those videos. And then I'm going to use a jump cut right there, boom, and then cut it from there. Press S. I received so so this is a middle piece. Delete. Put it against each other and. I received so many comments like, dude, why don't you make a PewDiePie tutorial, uh, like how to edit videos like him. But the bad thing is, guys, I did some research and I see that PewDiePie does a lot of different videos, okay? Roman does like only like vlogs and pranks. Jump cut right there, press S, PewDiePie, press S, delete this part, delete, boom, put it, put it against each other. That's how simple it is, so. PewDiePie does like so many other videos, like gaming, vlog, whatever. So basically, I'm not going to base this video on one thing, but just all the videos that he makes in general, like some th some things that he cl includes in all his videos. Okay, jump cut right there, press S. So basically, what, what, so what we're going to do is we're going to do like a... Press S, delete it, put it against each other. It's that simple how to cut, so. So what we're going to do is we're going to do like a bro fist. Yeah, bro fist, no, bro fist. Okay, no, no. Okay, that was really all. So, okay, so now we're, that we're gonna cut that part as well. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do like a bro fist. Yeah, bro fist, no, bro fist. No, okay, no, no. Okay, then we're gonna cut away. And I'm, when you, as you guys can see, I'm gonna use that as well. I'm going to pl place like a black and white filter on it. So we're gonna go video effects. You wanna click on black and white, drag it onto that clip. And you want also wanna zoom in a little bit like this. Like that, boom. And turn it a little bit. And let's see if we play it back. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Cut away and then just continue. So what we're going to do is boom, like that. Okay, no, no. So yeah. That looks awesome. That looks actually like like PewDiePie does his videos. He uses like black and white filters here and there. So let's just make this part, this one. Like really bright. And that's what he does as well. So I'm going to go to brightness and contrast. I'm gonna drag it on top of there, and I'm going to mess around with the brightness and the contrast to it, as you guys can see right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play, make it a little bit brighter, like con contrast, also brightness a little bit up, as, as you guys can see. So this is how it looks all together. He cl includes in all his videos. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do like a bro fist, yeah, bro fist, no, bro fist, okay, no, no. So yeah. That looks really great, guys. That's what he always do, like does. Like he just places filters on there. And I know that there are so many other things, but I cannot go ahead and look for like things on his entire channel. This is just like on his last few videos. He always has some filters and some black and white. So that looks really awesome. So that's one part, guys. I don't wanna make like a 30 minute video explaining you guys like how to add like 10 videos this is basically how he does it and you can dislike this video i don't i don't really care about that because i didn't cover like all his videos but this is what he used in his like recent like with the drone and everything like filters oh let's let, let's add a little bit of text so i'm going to media generators titles and text and let's place some text on over here As you guys can see, cut it, and we're gonna put some text on the screen. I'm gonna pick friend zoned, so I'm going to just place it on here, and let's 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 place it at the, at the bottom, and let's see what it looks like right now. What, what we have. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do like a bro face, yeah, bro face, no, bro face. Okay, no, no. So yeah, that looks really good. That looks really good, guys. So that's it for the video. That's how you edit like like for like PewDiePie. I know there are so many other games, but if you want to say like Alex Mike, make like a PewDiePie uh, part two. That I can cover gaming gaming videos that he that he's doing. As you can see on Sony Vegas, we have I recorded some uh, like Slither, yo, just to like.
might use this as an example. The thing you want to do is you want to record your camera, your screen, and your audio separately, okay? Because you need, like, if you use, like, OBS, you cannot, like, change uh, the face cam individually than, like, on the track. So what I did, I just recorded myself with this camera uh, separately. So as you guys can see, I have a video track, especially, like, for my entire, like, face cam. I can touch, like, the entire screen of my face cam, like, without messing up like other things so I'm like free to go like when, wherever I want so what we're going to do is first of all we're just going to start off like PewDiePie always uh, edits his videos okay so starting off with the first thing which is the face cam he's not using like a face cam like full screen but he's also using like like himself in a square not like a like a regular HD uh, frame size like in the corner so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to track motion as you can see so we're going to go over and make this actually like a little bit smaller like that let's place it in the corner and we're just going to cut off like a little bit of like the surrounding so we're going to go over to this um, icon which is called uh, event pan crop then go over, over to mask select this icon and just i would say select like a part of it so as you guys can see right now, this is me in a square and not like a like an entire screen. So that's the same list. So this far we have our face cam already. Let's place a little bit better in the corner. I would say right there. And I'll, let's also add like a pink face cam border. This is the pink square as you can see. So we're gonna create a new video track like this. Then you just want to place it underneath uh, the face cam. So we're gonna click on there. And as you guys can see, it's not like fitting that like that much. So we're gonna go over to track motion, like I said, and we're just going to crop this image until it fits behind the face cam border. So we're going to go to the track motion icon right here, the white one. And we're gonna make this square fit behind the face cam. So we're just gonna go over and start like dragging it until it fits behind the face cam so it doesn't fit already. So I'm going to make it a little bit taller like that. A few moments later. As you can see, this looks pretty good. So, but it's not like really fitting. So I'm going to go back to the track motion track of the face cam and just make sure that it's like fitted. So I'm just going to move this guy like until it's in the middle. So as you can see, this is our face cam border. So that's going to be really simple. And like another detail, as you guys can see the screen, like, and I'm looking, my face cam, I'm looking to the to the left, but I would just want to look into it like the game. So I'm just going to click on this event pan crop and I'm just going to click this one and you just want to click flip, 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 horizontal. And as you can see, this is our face cam. So the next thing that you want to do is let's say I'm going to just play the game. All right, guys, we are back at it again, as you can see. So this is Slither.io and before before I actually can like make the video like how to edit like PewDiePie, I need footage. So I'm just playing Slither Royal myself actually right now, uh, just to, to be able to have like some nice uh, like gameplay, so I can show you guys like how to edit like all this crazy stuff because I know how to do it and I would love to share my knowledge with you. Uh, so I'm just going to keep on going, and I've, I've been warming up for a little bit and I got I got some I got some people because as you guys saw, this guy is probably. Okay, fuck it, let's go. Play against. I'm just gonna go over. I saw some Quebble Cup like logos passing by, like a PewDiePie fist and everything. I'm gonna group all layers, select all the layers and group them so they're all together. Let's say when I'm going to die, I'm going to add like a little music to it. This guy is probably. F As you guys can see, I'm dying right there. So, what I'm thinking is, it would be funny to like have myself full screen. With like the little the, with that little sad song so let me just go ahead and put myself full screen boom this is my reaction so when i cut to this that's my reaction so i'm just going to cut this little part i'm going to cut this now we're going to add in like a little black and white image or i mean like a filter black and white video effect applied on on there as you guys can see so it looks that it looks pretty good actually I'm going to zoom in also a little bit. So I'm gonna click on event pan crop, like place a keyframe, like I would say at the end and then zoom in a little bit. So, and also like, you can also turn it a little bit like to make it like look more funny. So this is what we look, this is what we have already. So that's a little detail. So I'm now going to add like the sad, uh, like piano thing. So I'm, gonna add, so I'm gonna add a little sad piano part. So let's see what it looks like already. And I'm going to, when I'm going to click on the fuck, I'm going to just like make myself like twist. So I'm going to go over, like cut this little part. Then you want to go over to uh, if I'm pan crop, place a keyframe at like the end and just 
turn it one circle. Then place it back. Perfect. So let's see what we have already. But then I need to just turn around. So I'm going to do it on this one. And then pan crop. Keyframe at the end. Turn it like this. Like that. Let's see how it looks right now. As you guys can see, I'm turning around. When I turn around, you have like everything on the background. So I'm just going to lower the opacity of everything so that I'm just turning around with, like black, with, with a black background. And then I'm going to cut back to the game and I'm going to place my, my, my face cam back in the, in the face cam border. So that's actually like a little PewDiePie related thing, like a face cam border, which is like pink and then the sad piano with like the black and white and then twist and everything. That's how you do it guys. So you can use your imagination and I'm not going to like, like do all the details. I'm not going to do like all the details because PewDiePie's videos are pretty uh, edited really well. So I would say that's it for the Sony Vegas tutorial guys. I know you can just keep on going and like editing and add more stuff. So that's it for part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Just Alex Halford.